Hey everyone, it's Ardeth, and today I'm back with another tag for this year's 25 Days of Christmas Tags event, hosted by my good friend Tracy. There are lots of sponsors and prizes, so be sure to check out Tracy's blog for all the details of how you can play along and win. Today's sponsor is Pretty Pink Posh, and I made two tags so that I could try out my new Altenew metallic watercolors and compare how they look on black and white watercolor paper. I used a couple of the stitched solid leaves from the Holly die set, as well as a single berry. My tag base comes from the Stitched Essentials 1 dies. I got out a panel of black watercolor paper, as well as white. This is my first time using the black, so I'm interested to see how it all goes. Here's the pack of metallic watercolors. Even in their pans, they're beautifully shimmery, and there's 14 colors in total. So the first thing I did was cut out all the pieces with my Gemini Junior. I did consider painting the panels first and die cutting after, but I felt that cutting first would give me the option of putting down color exactly where I wanted it, to add shading if I decided to. Now it's time to paint. I spritzed the colors with water from my Nouveau Mister bottle to activate them a little bit, and then I got out the two berries, black and white. When I try something new, I like to start with the smallest, lowest risk piece and work up to the bigger pieces. I'm going to paint everything the exact same colors so that we can get a true comparison of the impact of the black versus white watercolor paper. Wow, look at that paint go on the black. It's obviously pretty opaque since the berry is now red, but there's no doubt that there's a dark underlay. To add interest and some dimension, I added a bit of purple to one edge of each of the berries, and then I set them aside to dry. Okay, now I'm excited. Here comes that big black leaf. I chose this green, and wow, can you ever see the shimmer on this? I'm not really taking a lot of care with my brush strokes, just getting the color down and trying to make sure I have some good coverage. And now for the white leaf. Same color, but again, it's easy to tell that the underlying paper is a different color from the first leaf. Even the stitching from the dyes shows the difference between the black and the white. And now that the black leaf has had a chance to dry just a little, I'm going back in with some blue to create more variation and interest on the leaf. I'm just dabbing it onto one of the edges and letting it blend in with the green. And now when I do it on the white leaf, you can see that it's quite a bit different. Still pretty for sure, with all that shimmer, but just not quite as rich. For the smaller leaves, I started with the pale aqua this time. And again, the look is quite a bit different. I went back in with the original green as my blending color this time. Now for the tag bases, I thought I would use this white color to add shimmer to my white tag base. I used a broader brush this time to make sure that I got good coverage, and I tried to keep my brush strokes horizontal just in case they ended up being visible later on. For the black base, I thought I would just splatter some gold over top, and man am I glad I did. I put quite a bit of water into the gold pan to mix up the thin paint that would splatter easily. Then I picked it up with my brush and tapped it against my finger to apply it. I also splattered the leaves. Initially I thought I didn't want the berries splattered, but it's so pretty I thought why not and I added them in. I just kept going until I was happy with the coverage and off camera I splattered the shimmery white base as well. For my sentiments I chose Merry Wishes from the new holiday sign set to stamp on the stitched circle that comes in the die set with the tag I'm using. I cut one in black and one in white, and I'll emboss both of them with super fine, rich, pale gold powder from WOW Embossing. I prepped the circle with an anti-static pouch and then stamped it down twice using my Misty and WOW Embossing ink to be sure I got a good impression. I didn't press down too hard on the stamp though because these letters are pretty small and I wanted a good, clear embossed sentiment. When it was stamped, I poured the powder over top. Super fine grind is perfect for these tiny letters, and when I heated it with my heat gun, the result was clean and crisp. To assemble the tags, I used pieces of foam tape to attach everything to its respective tag base. Some of them I had to cut pretty small, but the dimension really adds a lot to each tag. I centered the sentiment circle in the rounded top portion of the tag, making sure that the sentiment was straight before pressing down on the foam tape. Here's a look at the two tags and all the shimmer. I think I'm slightly preferring the drama of the black tag, but there's no doubt that they're both very pretty. Here's a couple of close-ups. First of the holly leaves with the pretty colors and gold splatter. And next of the embossed sentiments. I was really happy with how cleanly those small letters embossed. 
I added some gold twine from my stash and these tags are done. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel for more inspiration. Product links are below in the description and also on my blog. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.